mighty name of Jesus. Jean Neal had truly been blessed by God, and the depth of her miracle was astounding. Her doctor explained his reaction when she bounded into his offices after the healing. <laughs> Unbelievable. She uh, walked in without any pain whatsoever. She came in, she said, uh, I'm perfectly well. And she bent over and touched her toes and stood up like that without any uh, sign of distress at all. It is uh, completely unbelievable. We asked Dr. West if there was a medical explanation for what had happened to Mrs. Neal. Um, as far as a medical explanation is concerned, um, I suppose uh, sh there must have been a severe and chronic muscle spasm, perhaps with nerve root irritation, um, which was not responsive to any of the treatments we tried in terms of the, the tablets I described, muscle relaxants, physiotherapy, and so on. Um, and how it came about that this chap uh, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, uh, was able to um, pick her out of the audience and sort of succeed where we had failed uh, will, will remain a mystery to me. Although due to his surgery schedule, Stephen Eisenstein could not be interviewed on the day we visited Oswestry, he did release a medical statement about Jean Neal's case. In it he stated, This patient has returned today to show me personally that she is completely cured as a result of a religious evangelical experience some months ago. I have examined her today and find that there is absolutely no limitation to her physical ability in any way. She has a full range of completely painless spinal movement. There is no evidence of any neurological deficit. She was able to run up and down the outpatient clinic before witnesses. She declares that she has no pain. Local pressure over the previously extremely tender spine did not produce any pain response at all. Jean Neal's miracle, therefore, was truly one from head to foot, and according to her optician, even her eyesight made a dramatic recovery. As a result, Mrs. Neal's spectacles have been greatly reduced in strength, and her eyesight is better than it was when tested eight years ago. In all other areas, Mrs. Neal has been declared 100% fit. No doctor, however, has needed to prove to Jean Neal her newfound health. She was immediately able to do things she had not done for 25 years. Gone for Jean is the screaming agony when getting into a car. Jean is now able to garden, bending over without hindrance. She has also been able to mix mortar for a church building project. Jean's story was picked up by local and national newspapers, and none of them were able to find any flaw in her healing. The medical world had no explanation and were dumbfounded by what had happened. When we covered the story, the miracle was seven months old, and even the skeptics were beginning to acknowledge the healing. Probably the most skeptical was the government department of health and social security. When we visited, Jean had been trying for seven months to send back her mobility allowance to them. Each time the money had been returned to her because of skepticism about her healing. This morning in the post, I received a form for what we would call a mobility allowance. Uh, and I shall have to write back and say that under no circumstances could I support her application for mobility allowance because she's no longer disabled. Jean has returned to St. Cross Hospital, no longer as a patient, but as a volunteer. She now serves tea to the patients in the ward where she spent so many years of agony.
Some of those most excited about Jean Neal's testimony were the children who Jean had taught Sunday school to. When she was healed, everyone was so happy that she was healed. And before that, we were all praying to see if she'd be better. We used to all pray for her. The most excited of them all, however, was Jean Neal herself. She shared with us her deep feelings about the healing. And I give all the glory and praise to God. No glory goes to any man. I thank God for people chosen to be used as vessels uh, to lay hands on people and to uh, minister to the sick. But I give God the glory and praise for this, for this healing. And I just thank God that I've got something to shout about.